Good evening, everyone. So it's Moni said I'll be doing the gospel moment this week. Um, the gospel message of this week says the following. I'm going to read the message, and then we'll talk a little bit about the message. Okay? The message says the following. Anyone who breaks one of the least of these commands and teach others to do the same will be called <coughs> least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teach these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, 19. And in the gospel according to the spiritism, you can find that in chapter 18. Now, the gospel according to the spiritism I always give a little further explanation about that message, which I really love it. It helps us to understand a little bit better. You know, sometimes, or maybe a lot of times, when we pray, we actually pray from our lips. We don't pray from our heart. You know, we go to church or we come to the spirit center and we just come sometimes to do a check box on a calendar. We don't really mean it. We just say it to say that we go to a church. You know, we say beautiful prayers. And why do we do that if you don't actually follow Jesus' teachings? You know, teach, Jesus gave us a beautiful message, but he also taught us a lot. You know, we should come, you know, to learn and apply this message on our day-to-day activity. You know, uh, when we say beautiful things, we might impress the incarnate people, but for sure we're not going to impress Jesus or guardian angels or God. You know, actions, that's what matter. So we should put Jesus' teachings into actions like he did. He taught a lot, but he did a lot of things as well. So we should follow his steps. You know? And sometimes we do that because we're still very selfish, we are very pride, you know, we are still very attached to our material things. So we should start detaching from that and start learning to be humble, kind, and, and charitable. We start giving to others. That's what Jesus taught us, you know. The Lord justice is not based on words. It is actually based on actions. It's not what we actually do. You know? We're not saying that praying is not important. You know, come to church or come to the spirit center is not important. Not at all. Actually, praying is very important. It's a way for us to connect with the higher spirit, with Jesus. When by praying, we're able to connect and understand, keep the same frequency, and understand better the message. You know, coming to the spirit center, for me, at least on Monday, is very good. You know, keep us balanced. It's very good to be here. The energy on this place is very good. So this symphony, it helps us. It's just the beginning. Prayer is the beginning. It's a way of us to connect, and then we put into actions what we did. And just to conclude, I guess, I would like to leave with uh, a message from s- that I'm going to read from St. Augustine that I believe really helps us to understand if we're actually praying from our lips or from our heart. If we're actually meaning, it helps us to understand and analyze if we are doing what we are supposed to do. The message says the following. Do what myself used to do during my life upon the earth. At the close of each day, I examine my conscience, review all that I had done, and ask myself if I had not failed in some duty, if someone might not have reason to complain of me. So if you analyze ourselves, how we behave, I think we'll be able to start praying from our heart instead of from our lips. Thank you.